Hello everyone, this is Randall with Infinity Digital. Uh, I was going to give you a couple more stock picks today that uh, they're, they're pretty good stock picks. Uh, they're high price though. Uh, uh, NVIDIA, NVDA is a stock ticker. It's uh, now it's selling for $495 a share and the high, uh, a 52 week high was $505 and the low was $487. Uh, like I could say it's priced at $495, $495 now and uh, they make the new quantum chip uh, for this uh, the, this AI system, it's got to have the quantum sh chip in order to uh, in order to make it fast enough to uh, operate this AI uh, software they're coming out with, and uh, they got that they're making that quantum chip, and uh, also have uh, Microsoft here. Uh, which is a pretty large uh, tech stock. Uh, the ticker on them, MSFT. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, they're down in the dip right now and they're coming back out of it. It'd probably be a good time to buy it uh, because they'll they'll be have they'll have the open AI on it on Microsoft as well. And uh, my guess is I don't know. I guess they've already got. Uh, they've got. The, I, I know they got got the open AI on it, but uh, they probably got all the chips as far as the software goes. But uh, if somebody wanted to uh, get AI, they'd either have to pay for the software from Microsoft, or they would have to go to NVIDIA to get the chips and have a computer built up and have it souped up to to do that AI with. Uh, they're going to they're gonna have to eventually take over all the chip making I guess them and uh, AMD. AMD is a uh, uh, a uh, uh, chip maker as well or electronics uh, factory that makes chips and and stuff uh, for the computers. Um, Microsoft is a little bit lower. It's down to 376, and it's got a 52-week high of 384, and a low of uh, 373, which they're down to 376 right now, and it's possible. They could go up to 384 pretty quick. Um, of course, that's a pretty expensive stock too. You, you're talking about a lot of money, and when you go buy a, a hundred shares of them at the time, you'd have to go down on the amount of, of stocks you buy. But uh, like I say, everybody don't have the money to buy a stock like that. Uh, I'd probably buy one or two stocks out of it and see how they done and I might add to them a little bit later on if they go up real fast uh, your best bet would be on because uh, they're a smaller stock and they they got a, a chance of those two stocks that I just mentioned they're they're just going to be uh, You'd be able to make some money off of them, but you wouldn't be able to make near as much as you could off of these smaller ones, the smaller cap stocks. Uh, Ion Q, uh, I O N Q is the ticker on it, and uh, they're selling for like uh, twelve dollars and thirty nine cents right now, and. Uh, the high on them, 52 week high on them is 2160 and the low on them is uh, 1233 
I think they've been up quite a bit higher than that and came back down. But now that this uh, ion Q is supposed to be the most powerful quantum chip system that that they've got available uh, on these chip systems, and uh, it'd probably be best if you were gonna go in on this stock if you went in before uh, January the 9th because like I said on my last video they're having a, a, the consumer electronic show is going to be in Las Vegas Nevada January the 9th through the 12th and once these bigger companies get a hold of it uh, they're gonna they're gonna buy them out most likely and it's probably gonna take a while after the show to do this but you want to get prepared and get in in there before your institutional investors go in see when they get when the institutional investors investors go in on it before the buyout because they they gonna want to go get in on the money making deals too which uh, when they go in on it it's going to make that stock start going up and you want to get it at the cheapest you can get it uh, but uh, your institutional investors are going to go, be going in on this stock and uh, the other one that I mentioned it was uh, let's see C CGNX they also make a, uh, a software uh, quantum software for uh, the vision system the Insight 3800 vision system for the robot they pick up on motion and they follow motion around and stuff now these things have got uh, AI have been around for a long time you might say but they hadn't been as nearly as fast as they are now uh, back when I was doing uh, I was working on CNC machines back in the back in the 80s and 90s uh, and uh, worked on them until up till about 08 I think it was and uh, those CNC machines are, are a whole lot like robots and they're fast and they're very accurate and that's basically what this AI is but it's at a faster pace and it's a more what it's more wider spread they can uh, they can take in information and process it quicker than what a CNC machine could but uh, uh, I'd say your Ion Q would be the best one to pick for right now. Now, if you wanted one for the long term, uh, Microsoft or NVIDIA would be one of them you'd want. Uh, now, NVIDIA's got a market cap of uh, uh, 12, 1223 billion. And then uh, Microsoft's got a, a market cap of 27 2,795 billion. Uh, now that's uh, that's quite a bit, and, and there's a lot of people on stock in it and stuff. But uh, you'd be better off buying this cheaper stock, which is Ion Q, and then uh, the CGNX before the ninth and see uh, see how it works out uh, but I think either one of them stocks right there will do very well uh, that's all I've had time to research on them uh, I plan on doing some research on a couple more I had in mind uh, and uh, But uh, the thing about it is you don't, 
you don't need to put no more in it than what you can afford to lose if if this stock happens to shoot down which it's a possibility it could I've seen it do that before uh, I don't think it'll shoot down it'll start falling down slowly and uh, but you got to keep a real close eye on it until it starts going up but uh, if you're investing you gotta you gotta do that unless you got a some kind of a money manager or something to do to check it with uh, but I've got a couple more that I got in my folder here that I was wanting to do but I hadn't had a chance to go in and uh, and uh, research it anymore but uh, I need to research it first before I give you the stock pick and let you know what the stats are on it but um, that is your AI stocks for today that I've got uh, if you would uh, like for me to give more stock uh, quotes or anything or any recommendations for stock or whatever if you wanted a uh, one for long term uh, I would say uh, your uh, electric car maker which is Tesla uh, of course they're, they're a, a EV company but uh, Tesla is is a good choice for the next year or so uh, they're going to they're going to make real good. I don't know whether y'all seen the first video I had on this. I've This makes the third video I put out on stocks. And uh, uh, I invested in Tesla. And uh, I think they're going to do very, very well in 2024. They've just got too much coming in behind them to do that. Uh, to not do good in it. But... Uh, I've got two more, two or three more here, but I've got, like I say, I've got to uh, check into them here first and uh, do a little research on them, and uh, I'll probably put a video out within the next day or two and uh, let you know what I thought about them, but... Uh, this evening I'm going to recommend that Ion Q. Uh, of course, the NVIDIA and the Microsoft, you can, you may already have it. I don't know, but uh, they'd be good stocks to do if, uh, if you're searching for uh, long-term investments and you had quite a bit of money you wanted to put back. I would, I would try to put what I could in, uh, in stocks because uh, the way this uh, dollar is getting you don't never know what they're going to do about it uh, it's uh, sort of hard to try to figure out what you need to do to I would say it would be better in stock than it would be in cash though in the bank I would say it would be a lot better than than cash in the bank as far as that goes because uh if they go to the digital dollar, they're going to have to reevaluate these stocks and all, and they'll reevaluate uh, the digital dollar towards what the businesses are worth, I think, uh, and uh, what homes and stuff like that's worth, physical assets, in other words. Uh, But uh, give me your comments, please, and uh, if you would, please uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, uh, let me know what you think. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you like some more stock picks or whatever, 
to get if you're just getting into trading stocks or if you don't even have an account yet you might consider going into them now uh, I, I invest a little in crypto too but uh, other than uh, Ethereum or Bitcoin uh, they ain't a whole lot of them that I would trust as far as that goes uh, I thought that uh, FTX would be a good one there's a lot of people lost lost their pants on that uh, I think to the tune of about eight or nine billion billion dollars uh, I wouldn't want to go in and and offer it to somebody you know as an investment not knowing for sure what it was going to do but uh, I've done pretty good on crypto but uh, that's neither here nor there it, uh, I'd hate to in, it, give somebody a recommendation on one and and it, it not be any good so uh, if you would please subscribe to the channel and and uh, hope to see you again on the next one. Thank you.